But first, before then, let's talk about what's hot now. is going to make you smarter. Yes, Very well, I'm dressed this way because it's Fashion Week. It's the final day of New York Fashion Week, yeah. which is always a fun event in the winter. It's sort of nice to... Lovely outfit, by the way, Yamanika. Yes, yes, you said you were you. dressing cute today. Yes. You are looking cute. Your shoes are fierce. But one of the things that's got a lot of people talking is there's this brand new policy by the British brand Rose and Willard that will require models to eat a meal in front of staff members when they're at a photo shoot. The brand decided to enact the non-negotiable policy after a model became delirious during a shoot, refused to eat, and was eventually sent home. So given the fact that there's so much discussion about body image and the way that models do not eat very much or, or are sometimes encouraged not to, is this the answer? Or is this... this is responsible, for sure. I mean, will our athletes have to pee in a cup to prove that they're not on drugs? I think models should have to, you know, <laughs> eat a lunch in front of them. And don't... And it's, but it's not like the headline that you have to eat in front of us. They're just inviting them to lunch at a shoot right. and just seeing if they eat. They're not forcing them to eat. In well, front do of they them. get the job if they don't eat? I mean, well, they, they don't, they don't they get to not, sign with the agency. They will not yeah, sign with that mean, agency. It's, that's not solving a problem. I mean, if they have an eating disorder, which is a, you know pretty big in the fashion industry, they're they're you know this is not going to help the problem. But maybe that brand is trying to be eat. part of the solution have that we want to try have something, but don't force them to eat. You know, maybe just be an advocate for it. You don't force us to eat when we come out here, right? No, I don't, but you people eat me out of house and home here. <laughs> I swear. I have never seen anything like it. You're like animals. I love a free snack. Love animals. Free snacks. Because if I was a model, they'd send me home for eating everything. <laughs> You know. Well, they have said that, you know, that they, it's the, the modeling world that has sort of created the monster, you know, and so they're trying to do whatever they can to rectify things, to make I, I things better. I, I mean, I think it's a great first step, but I think the industry as a whole has right. to come up with a better way to encourage healthier size models on the runway. I, you know, I think sometimes when you think about it, you blame the industry. And like, why are the clothes for such skinny people? But it's the designers that design the clothes and then the models that wear them on the runway. So I think designers need to encourage girls to be a little healthier and then have it trickle down, not shoving food in front of someone's right. face. And you've been on a photo shoot before. It's like 12-hour days. You know, they're constantly after you. There's times when I kind of forget to eat when we're here on the show because we're running around from shoot to shoot. So I think just have, like what Megan said, have some healthy snacks, make sure everyone's eating, and don't make it uncomfortable to eat because sometimes I think that's the climate at these runway shows. At times, people think, oh, well, I don't want to be the one what eating, eating. Yeah. right? But most of the shows I've ever been to, there's no food left because the models actually ate all the food. So <laughs> that's a good thing. A good all right, thing. moving on then. Mattel, makers of bar be under fire again for its recently released limited edition Wonder Woman doll, okay? This Barbie is supposed to be modeled after actress Gal Gadot, who stars in the upcoming action movie Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. But a lot of critics, they're lashing out saying the doll's arms look like a stick insect. Yeah. They just don't think it resembles at all the woman who is playing Wonder Woman. It's what do you very think? thin. It looks like a prey man. It's like, I, I get what yeah. they're saying. It's a very thin... The girl needs more meat on her bones. Yeah. I don't know. I'm like, she looks like she would be run over. Yeah, but you have thing. to understand, this is, this is a limited edition. There's a certain kind of animation they use. So, I mean, this doesn't bother me. And plus, it's economics. They saved a lot of money on using not so much plastic. <laughs> I would, you know, I would like, have liked to see it. I would have liked to see it more resembled. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean they use, saved a lot of money? Were you talking about big dolls? What's up? <laughs> yeah, I love me a big doll. I'm just saying they're being very cheap with this doll. Why? At, a time, at a time where they're changing the design of their Barbies to incorporate all different kinds of looks, would they take this particular one and go right back to that it's like they went model. forward, but they took 10 steps backwards yeah. by I putting this one up. I think there's a lot, way too much complaining. Every time you turn around, they tie to this, they tie to that. That doll is fine. There's an array of dolls. They've given you everything. They gave you welfare doll. They gave you high-class doll. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if there's a welfare doll. If there's not, I trademark it right now. I'll make it. <laughs> Probably be in my image. There's a lot of dolls out there. I mean, why are we complaining about this doll? It's there too are. much. And, you know, this might not be well-received, but... Since when is can skinny not be strong? Like, I'm a pretty skinny girl, and I'm also tiny and mighty. Like, I am pretty strong. I can you bench are. press, like, I lift, I'm strong. So, like, why does somebody assume that some, because someone's thin or skinny, they can't be well, strong? Because I think you, it's... You, but we're it's talking about the healthy factor. That looked abnormal, but, though, but, that but, it, but I think it, it's, a, it's not a real person, right? The real person, by the way, happens to be a model. She's five foot ten, and you can guess how much she weighs. She is a model, so she has right. a classic thin model body. Yes, I 
agree that that doll, which looks more like a cartoon than a human to me, is a little thin, but I get tired of like the, oh, skinny strong or skinny's unhealthy. It's the exact same thing, you're skinny shaming. It's the reverse of what we're mm -hmm. asking people not to do when someone's overweight. So can we just all be happy with the fact that all women come in different sizes and shapes? Yes, That's everybody. all I'm asking for. That's it. Let me ask you a question. What would you do if your only option were to put your son in a preschool class, all the other students are girls? In an essay on Babbel.com, a mother writes about her predicament after a spot in a competitive school finally opened up for her son, but it was in a classroom of only girls. She says she is all for changing up gender roles, letting girls play with trucks, boys play with dolls, the whole thing. But in the end, she couldn't do it. She said, I just can't put him in that school because boys and girls are not the same, and she did not think it would be a, a positive environment for him. So what would you do in that I situation? I agree with her. Uh, you do yeah. agree? Yeah, I was going to say, I... Don't necessarily agree with her. I mean, my kids play with lots of kids after school. School's sure. only a certain part of the day. My kids are with boys, girls, every, any, you know, Is adults. anything other than boys and girls you was getting right now? Transgender. Oh, okay. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No, but they're with a lot of kids after school. School is a finite amount of time. Right, and, it's a know, big chunk of their day. Yes. For mine, it's only four hours. So I said if it was too. four hours, I wouldn't have a problem with it. If I had a boy, I have girls, if they were with all boys. It the teaches them a d empathy for a different Variety sex. is the spice of life. And I think, you know, yeah. it, with, even at an early age, you need to be surrounded by every gender, every That's color. There would be a school with that setup that they because yeah. normally they really are very thoughtful about how they pick the kids and they pretty much divide it down the line. I mean, I went to an all girls school yes, yes. and I love yeah. that. And I thought it was fantastic. And we had things after school that we yeah, did with boys. To socialize with the opposite sex. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. I mean, so you would love to have a little boy in your class. She messed him up. He yeah, could have yeah, had yeah, a little yeah, girl yeah. love. Come on now. I would have put my son in there. Go get that girl love. Yeah.